What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm coming at you guys with some more WWE action figure news. We got some more images to go through. We got some Elite 63 in the house. We got a variant look at the brand new Elite Shelton Benjamin. We got the gold standard um, attire to look at. We also got a, a couple basics that I want to take a look at. We got some other Elite 63 figures and we have a new look at the top talents Finn Balor. So let's go ahead and take a straight look. Starting off with with the new Elite 63 Dusty Rhodes, guys, this thing does look great. Um, I believe this is Dusty's third or fourth Elite. I think it's his third. It could be his fourth, though. But he does come with a slew of accessories. We got his t-shirt. We got his World Heavyweight Championship. We have his hat going. This is a great Dusty Elite. I think this is the best Dusty Rhodes Elite, hands down. And I know Gold Dust and Cody Rhodes will be proud with this one. Moving on, guys, we do have a basic here. It is Roderick Strong, the fourth member of Undisputed Era. Speaking of which... Hopefully, the Undisputed Era 3-pack is arriving very, very soon. I know it is was in stock yesterday. If you guys have not picked up that set, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS and grab that set. It's going to be set of the year, guys. I can go ahead, hands down. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait for that. Next up, we do have the top talent Finn Balor right here, guys. And this image does come from Ring of Clothing right here. And you can see they did use the right torso. If you get in there and take a little zoom in shot, you can see that they did actually give him the good torso, which I'm so excited about. You can see it is the WrestleMania 34 attire. You know, that there was that image of the blue attire from Elimination Chamber going around, but it is going to, in fact, be the uh, LGBT attire here with the Rainbow Balor Club logos on the back of the jacket. It's the same ringside exclusive jacket, and then we have, you know, the rainbows going on the back of the knee pads and the kick pads. I'm so happy for this figure guys because I'm going to be making so many different Balor customs when I get this thing in hand. It's going to be ridiculous. Hopefully this figure is made in mass quantity so I can just grab and grab and grab. Every time I go to Walmart, I'm going to grab a Finn Balor. Possibly just buy out the set and just go to every Walmart possible and buy, buy, buy because uh, we got a lot of unpainted Balors to add to the Balor shelf. Next up, we do have the gold standard version of Shelton Benjamin right here guys. You know the other day we took a look at the regular version but this is going to be the Chase Elite. So this is his Chase Elite, just like Kurt Hawkins and Elite 64. This is the Elite 63 Chase variant with Shelton Benjamin in that beautiful gold attire. He's got his blonde hair rocking there. Uh, he does come with a ladder, which I think is interesting. Another note I would like to add is that I don't like either head scan on the regular version or the Chase variant. I don't like the head scan. I feel like it's just missing something. Uh, I think the first basic that he had was, was a lot better, in my opinion, the one they released in, like, what, 20, 2010 or 2009? I think that... Uh, those were definitely, uh, it was a better head scan in my opinion. I didn't like that. I don't like these new head scans. They're not terrible, but I prefer the old basic. But this figure does look amazing. The arms are a bit jacked as, as well. I think that, you know, they could tone it down there on the arms. But uh, those things can be fixed. No biggies there. Moving on, guys, we have Shinsuke Nakamura. We have two new images of Shinsuke Nakamura. And uh, this is his new figure coming out. You can see with the signature hands pose. Look how great the figure looks with those posing hands, guys. I think that... the. Uh, Again, the, the, the freaking interchangeable hands changed the game, hands down. I am so excited for the interchangeable hands with all the new figures we're going to be getting. Elite 63 and 64, I think I am like more... Hopefully we get them before Christmas. I hope we get 63 um, sometime in the next two months, and then maybe for Christmas we'll get the Elite 64 set so I can just buy, buy, buy. I'm, I'm very, very excited for all the new figures coming out. And I think I have one more figure to show you guys. And I'm showing you this because I think it's the most laughable figure that I've seen besides that top talent's Braun Strowman. We got John Cena right here from WrestleMania 34. Look at those freaking pants they got on this man. Look how baggy those things are. Are you serious, ladies and gentlemen? You know, this is where he was supposed to not have a match because, you know, The Undertaker never accepted his challenge. He's sitting in the crowd having a beer, having a brewski right there. And uh, he's just rocking these freaking bell-bottom jeans here. And it looks like he has kick pad feet, which I think is hilarious. They gave him regular sneakers on every other figure he's ever had except this one. So I think that is just, that's just laughable, guys. But that pretty much does it for all the new figure images that I have for you guys today. Again, we got some new figures coming in. We got Entrance Greats Goldberg Undisputed Era Epic Moments Pack coming in. So expect reviews on those as soon as possible. But uh, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. What do you think of the new figures? What do you think of the new releases we're getting very soon? I'm. Uh, it's just a great time to be a collector, guys. I think My Damn Toys is about to be booming with all these. 
these new figures coming in. I can't wait. Sold out again, still being worked on. I'm grinding every single day, and we're getting closer and closer to the end, and it's going to be the greatest show ever. So definitely stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.